Jaron Duran joins us now. Congratulations on being named an All-Star for the first time. What's that feel like? Um, it's pretty special, honestly, you know. Called my dad, we both broke down crying. How about Luis Hill when Red Sox hitters are looking for the slider, they can't get it right here. Rafael Devers continuing to throw that slider combination. Where's the changeup? He hasn't needed it so far tonight. And this one is sent to left field. That sends Verdugo back. Rafael Devers against the Yankees. And here comes the ball. And Devers finally gets to home plate. Single and a homer for Devers. And this one is driven to center field. He's watching it. He thinks he did it again. Oh, my goodness. Rafael Devers here at Yankee Stadium, his second of the night. 16th career shot here to tie Ortiz. They pitch to him and he makes some pay. Second bat flip, second homer. 3 0 Red Sox. All right, who's going to score first? Well, Lindor is on base. Nimmo drives one toward the gap in left center field. Back goes Reynolds near the wall. It's off the wall. Lindor racing for third. He's being waved home. Cruz can't get the handle. Lindor scores the first run of the game on an opposite field double by Brandon Nimmo. They're loaded now for Nick Gonzalez against Edwin Diaz. Ground ball left side base hit. Base is loaded, two outs, ninth inning. Now it's one and one to Lindor. And Francisco lines one in the left field for a base hit. Gamble is in. Here comes Bader. He will score, and the Mets take the lead. Francisco Lindor with his third hit of the day drives in the tying and go ahead runs, and the Mets lead 3 2 in the ninth. Now Jose Altuve will bat. Runners at first and second, two outs. There's a line drive base hit with the runner moving. An easy score for Jake Myers. Jose Altuve, an RBI base hit, making it 2 nothing Astros. Vasquez won a world championship for the Astros in 2022. Line to left and over a leaping Bregman. Buxton scores, Walner to third base, and he will stop. And he's safe and smiling, and this is a one-run game. After all the offense we saw the first two days, we were destined for a game like this. To decide the series, Twins have three walk-off wins this season. Swing it a fly ball to left field and deep. Back it goes onto the warning track at the wall. It is gone! It's over! Christian Vasquez walks it off! Twins win! Twins win! The Minnesota Twins walk it off and win the series! They'll score second inning, one out, one on. Here's Michael Conforto. The pitch. Conforto blasts one to deep right field. It is gone! All the way to the back part of the bleachers. That's a big home run off the bat of Michael Conforto. And it puts the Giants ahead 2-0. So Bo Naylor gets to bat with two down and two men aboard. Yastrzemski back, looking up. Goodbye! The Guardians have taken the lead. Five to three. Home half the second inning. Adam Duvall will start it for Atlanta. Is that thing going to stay fair? Yes, it is. Duvall got it all. A solo jack. But now the Braves with two on, nobody out, and one already in. Kelnick hammers this to right center field. And that thing is gone. Into the chop house. Three run bomb for to nothing Atlanta. I think leadoff Jared Kelnick is my new favorite. Does this have enough? You bet. And each one going further and further. This one, 430 feet. Homer number 13 for Matt Olson. And he was ready. He was aggressive. Caught it on time and pounded that baseball into the Braves bullpen. Well, I said it last time. It'd be a good time for Josh Bell to break out of the 0-4. Now 23. He did get the RBI ground out in the seventh. Going back, and Fam didn't make the catch. Martins will tie it. And wouldn't this be sweet? with Jake Berger coming up. Winning run at third. And Berger drives it deep to left center. Give me that Berger to go. A three-run walk-off bomb for Berger against his old team. Steer the runner at second. He's a potential tying run. Two and two. Two down. 
And now here is Austin wins. He struck him out. There's the changeup. Tarek Skubal hangs on to the lead. The Reds do play to run here in the seventh. It is now a 2-1 Tiger lead. McKinstry Rippy singled in the fourth. He's lined into a double play and struck out. Benson at the fence looking up and it's gone a home run. An enormous turn of events for the Tigers trying to sweep this series. Varsho's had a terrific series in the field. Boy, it would be nice if he'd come up with a big hit right now. Base hit right field. Here comes Guerrero. And he will score. And of course, all roads to Toronto lead through Cal Raleigh. High fly ball center. Kiermaier back. Has it. And a baseball game that had a little bit of everything comes to an end. And Texas is in double figures here, leading 10 to 2. Everyone sitting for the Rangers. And seven of the nine starting Rangers with at least one hit. Heim with a four hit day, his eighth home run of the year. Another strong effort by Nathan Avaldi. Avaldi has been in cruise mode since the third inning. He did give up that two run homer to Caballero. And that's been the, the real flaw in the day for Avaldi. Yelich flew to deep center his first time. Back Pahe still back and gone. Back to back days with homers for Christian Yelich and the Brewers strike first in L.A. The Brewers have runner in scoring position with two outs. Back and gone. Eric Haas goes the other way, doubles the Brewers lead to four nothing. That ah, Perkins deep and out of here. Perkins answering back after the Dodgers score two in the bottom of the inning. Second and third, two outs for Nolan Arenado. Hammer toward left. That's going to get down for a two-run hit. Arenado comes through. More two-out magic for the Cardinals in the fifth inning. It's a three-run frame and a four-run lead. Siani at first. And here's Wilson Contreras, the DH. Line drive. Belts it to left. Wood turns. It's gone. Contreras hits a big home run. Ninth of the season. It's a much-needed insurance for the Cardinals. Anthony Santander digging in. Santander with a high fly ball. Golf down the line and right. That ball is fair. And Anthony Santander's last game at the Coliseum. He hits his first Coliseum home run. Westberg's on the run. Kerstad with a drive. Deep left center. And that ball's gone. Heston hammers one the other way. And the blonde bomber has a three run shot. Corbin Carroll stands in on the left side to get it started. Turns on this sends it a long way to deep right field it is back and it is gone a home run and the Diamondbacks jump out on top one nothing jerks and Profar Profar turns on this and sends it to deep right and that's gone tie game hitting number six in a 1 1 ball game this has become a pitcher's duel between Dylan Cease and Ryan Nelson so far today it, Eugenio Suarez high ball left field sending Profar back at the wall that ball is gone a two run home run puts the Diamondbacks on top Suarez feeling good about himself right now he's got a base knock he's also got that big two run home run now he sends one out towards left center field and that'll get down all the way to the track and the wall. Walker will score. McCarthy will score. Here comes Perdomo from first. No throw. He clears the bases with a double. And the Diamondbacks take a 7-1 lead. Now Gil Garcia now, the third baseman. One down, runners at first and second. Line to left field and deep and gone. Michael Garcia hits a three-run home run. And the Royals take a 4-0 lead in the top of the second. And now Bobby Wood Jr. who has two more hits. Hooking into the corner and gone. And Bobby Wood Jr.'s third hit today is a three-run home run. And a chance to strike first. Amaya swinging at it this time, and it's over the head of Guillerme. And Swanson will trot on in to score. Hayden Wisniewski with the quality start here into the seventh, allowing just one hit and retiring 17 in a row. Runner goes, Bush, well struck, deep right field, back it goes, and it's out of here. Big swing in the bat for the Cubs, big swing in the bat for Michael Bush. For more on these and other stories, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.